Tattoos are one of the most uh, influential pieces of arts around the world. Uh, it has given us many and millions of people different perspectives of each tattoo. So, so with tattoos, they bring out different styles, and within these styles, they have different rules. For like, for example, Japanese and old school. Old school, they all have their own rules of what how they sh they should look. Uh, uh, there are many, many people that end up with uh, a good tattoo or a terrible tattoo because it uh, depends on what they want and the artist may not deliver to the canvas. You can see it. All right, for, for one example, uh, a bad tattoo would be this hula girl. It's a zoomed up picture of a hula girl. Uh, you guys, I don't know if you guys can see, but right here, like her face, it's, a, it's supposed to be a pinup girl, which a pinup girl is supposed to be attractive and beautiful, but her face is like jacked up, right? Like look at her nose and eyeballs. It's not, it's not a pretty sight for, for, the, for the artist to see after what they have done to the client. Uh, artists do feel responsible and bad if they have done a terrible job, but at the same time, it could also be the client's fault because they're supposed to collaborate with the artists of what they of what they want for their design, and, and it shouldn't be like a terrible result. It should be a good result, leaving the client happy. Uh, for clients, there's another factor that can come can come with it that leads to a terrible, bad situation. Uh, if they have scars or stitches or extra skin that skin that has been stretched out, if you're like overweight or big, with scars and stitches, like uh, the skin already has been damaged, so it's very sensitive when they tattoo over the tendon. And especially with extra skin, like it's harder for the artist to uh, to tattoo over because it's like rubber to them. Where when they tattoo, it's not it's not gonna be good for them. It's gonna the tattoo is gonna fall off along along the way. On this next image, uh, it's supposed to be a Venetian mask, but if you look in look closely, the outline. It's rigid and it's not cleanly done. It's not well done by this artist. And a Venetian mask is one of those uh, those back in the day ballroom dances where everyone's all fancied up and they just wear those masks to hide their identity. Well, for a Venetian mask, obviously it doesn't look like a feathery or glittery uh, mask. It's supposed to be like beautiful, right? But this one is like weird and gothic looking so that's not what the client wanted it's more of the artist's interpretation of a venetian mask which the client was really unhappy with uh, Another fault on the client is the health because the client is the one. Uh, another fault for the client is due to their health because uh, they during a tattoo if they're not used to getting a tattoo they might they might actually like black out or feel lightheaded where the artist has to actually stop tattooing which is very important to the client's health because they they might have like a halfway done or a quarter or almost finished tattoo but they can't they have to tap out and leave of what they have or it may never finish it ever again because it's due to their health condition uh moving on to a good tattoo a solid technical tattoo is look as this yoda right here 
Uh, this tattoo of Yoda is really bright and color saturated, where the colors actually pop up to the to the audience and to the client, because it looks really realistic, as if it was from an actual taken picture of Yoda. So you can see his forehead and his hair lines, especially his eyeballs. This next image is a black and gray picture of a girl. And you, for black and gray, you can see the contrast between the white and the black going into the gray, where it's not heavily saturated with fully black outlines. <coughs> but you can see it's very detailed. Uh, here's, here's another uh, bad tattoo. By looking at this two-faced image, there's nothing wrong with it, but then at the same time, if you look closely at the picture, it's actually flipped. So it's really important to work with the artist, see how the, the picture is drawn up, and, and how it is on the stencil, because you don't want to have it uh, flipped or put on backwards. Uh, so this is uh, my last uh, well-saturated, good, solid tattoo, because it's a new school picture of a dinosaur with his color theory popping out colors. The outline is really well done, it's solid, it's clean, and, and it's a big piece where the actual image, you can see it from far away. Um, so for a helpful tip for all the, all the people that wanna have a tattoo, it's really, it's really important to work with and collaborate with the artist and put faith into the artist, but actually see how, how their artwork is before getting a tattoo. A really, if you really want a well done tattoo, you should see how how they really are before actually seeing the tattoo being applied on you.